Descriptive language. A descriptive language adds atmosphere, intensity, and drama to a situation. Have a look at these versions of two events. One, he scored a goal. Two, the very talented and much praised million pound striker Jim Johnson rocketed the ball into the net. One, she sang a song. Two, the beautiful Irish singer delivered a wonderful interpretation of the widely known and dearly loved folk song, Molly Malone. Whether you should add more descriptive elements to your text is a matter of personal taste and genre. In an informative text, like in an encyclopedia, you should write matter-of-factly and to the point. In a poem, you would want to dwell on emotions and search for finer descriptive verbal nuances. Your style may also vary in different parts of your texts. Have a look at this example. He pulls the chair away, grabs the gun, opens the door, and runs down the stairs. He is free. He pulls away the green chair from under the doorknob of the white double door. And thereafter, swiftly picks up the gun as he opens the door and then hurries down the steep stairs. Adding a lot of colour and detail will destroy much of the feeling of hurry in the second example. However, such a dwelling on details may be very effective in building up tension. The famous film director Alfred Hitchcock once said, "There is no terror in a bang, only in the anticipation of it." What it boils down to is to know your genre. Should you write a factual, informative text, or a descriptive text? Do you want to paint a broad picture of an environment, or focus on fast-paced action like in a crime story?